everyone. Welcome to Aviation 101 with Laura. Today I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how pilots do training for what they called engine stalls. And I'll play a little bit of that audio so you can hear what was said. Do this, relax that back pressure, and then we'll give it full power to recover from that, and then hold the hold the climb pitch attitude, and then we'll bring the flaps off 10 degrees at a time. Flight instructor Jeremy Crowell prepares students to practice recovering from engine stalls. Why? So I want to give a little bit of a quick explanation so you can understand how an engine stall is not really a thing that we worry about in aviation with reciprocating engine-powered aircraft. What we are thinking about is a aerodynamic stall, which is what you heard the flight instructor describe in that clip. So that was an aerodynamic stall. Now that happens if an airplane's wing is has a disrupted airflow that the air cannot continue flowing over the wing and it stops creating lift. This is a dangerous condition at low altitude, which is why we do practice this with general aviation aircraft so that we can recover from a stall. But when I hear people talk about worrying about an engine stall, um, that's just not the case. This is not something that happens with reciprocating engine powered aircraft. Now, as somebody who drives a manual car, I have like stalled the engine. By that mean like the engine quit because I was bad at driving the car when I first got it. That's not what we're talking about here. Also in reciprocating engine powered general aviation aircraft is if an engine fails. That is totally different thing, but to say an engine stalls, you'll sometimes hear people talk about this. It's really inaccurate. It's not what we're talking about from a flight training perspective. So if you wanna play with this at home, stick your hand out the car window while you're driving and driving at higher speed. If I increase my hand's angle of attack so much so that I feel it like getting blown back, and basically I quit generating lift at that point. Um, if I just have my airplane wing flat, you know, and I'm driving down the car and I'm aerodynamic, I'm actually generating a small amount of lift. So that's how you can play with that at home. But um, to say that we practice engine stalls in a small general aviation aircraft with a reciprocating engine, which you would see a propeller on the front, it's just not accurate. So thanks for watching Aviation 101 with Laura and watch for more like quick topics about just clearing up myths and things that are confusing. In the future, I plan to make a few of these in the weeks to come. Have a good day.